Tycker tricks de ser när jag rullar upp städa sup De kan rädda dig då och gå i stopp När jag åker hem ska det vara där bakifrån Sittplatsen kommer, jag är ingen kvadrat kvart Jag må vara ung och dum men inte den som är den som Drunk Men du väljer ändå och kallar mig mans fish Shut the f*** up och sätta dig längst fram i taxi Jag är ingen vidare på vitet Det är det du har biceps Kan du åka hem, ha det skitfett Här är handen som en sista kö Med en överkropp som Mr. Burns Du vet inte någon grekisk diskuskastare Så vad var det du missuppfattade Du betalar taxin, tack den drar jag av Så det du får ha det bra och bra That's not good Sean, you. Huh? Okay. What happened? What happened? Uh, I must have slipped or fallen over. Dixon, down, get over here. There's a thing. What, what is, is it? it? Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's Sean. I think he uh, uh I think he fell down. I. He seems okay though. It's... Uh, no. Can I talk to you guys really quick? I'm just gonna. Uh, okay. Okay. So, um, it seems like uh, Sean broke these CDs when he fell down on them somehow. So, um, but the thing is, though, is that why would he want to, um, well, break them? What does this mean? What could have impacted this DVD so that it shattered such that it did? Who would do this? Could this be a possible physics experiment afoot? Jeff! Jeff! Look, it's this embarrassing video of Sean! Hey guys, hey! Sean, did you fall down and pretend like you passed out just so you could break this DVD of embarrassing video of Sean? No, why would I do that? I, I didn't even know there's a DVD of me. Look, I can prove it to you using physics. Sean, you need figure it out. You're smart, Sean. Why don't you explain to us how it happened? Well, assuming it did happen, which it didn't, there would have to be a force enough to break the CD, which is... I don't know, maybe you dropped it or something. Okay, fine, so I dropped it. Wait, what's that? Oh, this is a free body diagram used to depict the direction and magnitude of forces on an object. Oh, okay, I, I see how you got that. According to Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the force applied from the CD to the ground will be equal to the force that the ground applies to the CD. Wait, what's that? And exactly what is the mass of the CD? Well, that's approximately 0 0.0164 kilograms. Using mass, I can calculate the force that is exerted on the CD when it hits the ground. Well, that makes sense. You could use uh, Newton's second law, which says that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Yeah. Not exactly. First, you have to use kinematics. Kinematics? What's kinematics? Kinematics is an aspect of physics that has a series of equations that uses distance, velocity, time, and acceleration. So in a sense, it's like the math of motion. Using this equation, we can solve for the final velocity of the CD when it hits the ground. Velocity final squared is equal to velocity initial squared plus two times acceleration times distance. In this case, since I'll be holding the CD before it drops, distance will equal 1.8 meters since I'm about 1.8 meters tall. And Velocity initial would equal zero meters per second, since I'll be holding up the CD before it drops. And acceleration will equal the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second. So um, using all of those um, variables, velocity final would equal 5.97 meters per second. Okay, I think I see where you're going here. That makes sense. Okay, so using the velocity and the mass of the CD, you could calculate for the momentum. And momentum divided by time would equal the force. Correct. And to solve for the time, we can use this equation. T is equal to D over V. 
and distance is equal to 1.8, and velocity is equal to 5.97, and therefore t equals 0.3 seconds. Well, I have a shortcut. You just get the mass of the CD and multiply that by the acceleration of gravity, 9.8, and then that gives you the force. Thanks for your contribution, but what you just calculated is the weight of an unmoving object. We have to factor in the drop. <laughs> Using momentum, which is mass times velocity, and what you gave me earlier, the mass, 0.01 kilograms. and the velocity, which is equal to 5.97, meters per second, we can divide these two values after multiplying them by time, which is equal to 0.3 seconds, to equal the resulting force. I'm going to steal your thunder for a couple seconds there, Sean, and tell you that the force exerted by the CD on the ground is actually 0.32 newtons. Well, according to the specifications of polycarbonate used to create CDs, the maximum force that a CD can withstand is actually around 10 newtons. So therefore, dropping the CD to break it is unfeasible. So, I think you're innocent there, Sean. Thank you, Jeffrey. That's what I've been trying to tell you guys. Okay, so then what actually did happen? So, if Sean dropping the CD didn't break it, then what did? Jeffrey, what do you have left in the crime scene? Well, there was a hammer, there was a ukulele, and there was Sean Chan just lying there. But, since the ukulele didn't have any scratches or any dents on its highly polished wood, I'm pretty sure we could rule out any violent usage. So, all we have left is the hammer and Sean. And since Sean dropping it didn't do anything, then we ruled him out too. So all we have left is the hammer. Do you have the hammer left over from the crime scene, Jeffrey? Yes, I do. Well, since we have the hammer, and we do know the weight of the hammer, which is, in fact, 0 0.68 kilograms, we can use Sean's method of finding the force of the CD in order to find the force exerted by the hammer. So let's space C here. No, man! That is so not mine, dude! Don't even think that, nah! I am not! I am so innocent here! That is not mine! Whoa, 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 man! That is so wrong! <laughs> According to kinematics, objects usually take, actually take the same time to hit the ground. So actually, we can divide the momentum by the same time, 0 0.3. So time is equal to 0 0.3. And all we have to do is find the momentum, really. And the momentum, which is represented by the variable P, is equal to mv, the mass equaling 0 0.68, and also according to kinematics, the velo final velocity of the hammer would be 5.97. So dividing the um, momentum by time should give us around, I'd say, 13 newtons. Wait, I'm getting a flashback. I remember walking into the living room after a long day of playing guitar and I look on the ground and I see a CD and it says embarrassing video of Dixon then I can't remember what, what, what happened Ooh. wait now everything makes sense it was all set up Dixon must have made the scene look like that he must have put down whatever he used to knock out Sean and he must have used the hammer to break the CD then, he must have made the scene look like how it did when I walked in that day. Now everything makes sense. Wait, that makes sense. Where'd he go? Thanks, Daniel. Yeah, no problem, Dixon. Here's the money. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ha 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 